What you body got to do? What? Yo, what's going on guys? Dangerous Gaming back again with another Mutt video. As you can see, we have Michael Vick at the starting quarterback spot. This will be the last game you will see with Michael Vick. I recorded this one a couple of days ago. Just uh, wanted to post the other one. If you guys have not seen the last video, go check it out or there will be a link at the end of the video to that video. Um, it was definitely a fun game. We ended up starting Tyrod Taylor for the first time. He did really well. He played no different than Vic personally, so I didn't want to have all those coins uh, sitting with me. So I decided to sell Vic. He just sold today. And, um, you know, save myself some coins and use some quarterbacks that I know I can use. Uh, Tyrod Taylor and Terrell Pryor. So, um... Anyway, this is a really good game. It was really fun to play. I don't know if I've had this much fun playing the game. I don't even know why it was much, it was that fun. I was just like, I was just into it the entire time. But as you can see, we hit Gronk right there in the first play for a nice game. Uh, we come out in our normal split close formation. Uh, that formation, I mean, it's always done money for me. So, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix is what I always say. So, I mean, I don't know. Uh, his user actually trips over my right tackle. And I end up finding T.Y. Hilton sitting wide open on the sideline. Uh, I was laughing my ass off when I saw him trip. Not just because, you know, he kind of just fucked up and ran over the tackle. It's not really his fault. Just the way he fucking face planted was hilarious. So anyway, uh, this was another opponent that ran the ball a lot. So a lot of stuff was cut out of him just running all the time. So in second and ten, I can tell he's looking over the middle. But he goes to the sideline. Kind of a risky pass, but Stephon Gilmore steps in front. We end up stopping him on third down. Stahl is driving. He ends up putting on fourth and ten. I have not played somebody that has punted for a while. And it's it's weird. Uh, nobody wants to punt anymore. Uh, I mean, honestly, fuck. It's usually like you're just really angry or you're upset, so you just go for it. I mean, I go for it all the time. I rarely punt, if ever. Uh, I actually still have Tom Brady as my punter. That's how you know I don't punt, because that thing only has like 86 kick power. But anyway, we end up taking off of Vic right there for a nice game. Guys, let me know. I'm, I'm in the process of doing it, but I'm trying to think if I should really commit to it. Of making a Michael Vick highlight reel and just going through games and taking out pieces of Michael Vick, uh, just just throwing the ball and running the ball, and then just making kind of a tribute fucking thing to him. Uh, he was really good. I'm not gonna say Michael Vick wasn't good. Um, it's just for what he is, he's not really worth the price. There's not, there's a lot of mobile quarterbacks that I think can do what he does, and I have two that I really think uh, can do what he does. I know a lot of people uh, really hate Terrell Pryor or don't think he's that great. Um, a lot of people that have used him either in draft champs. I know I've seen a couple people use him in draft champs. He throws a dime right there. That was a really good read. Uh, lobs it over top of everything. Because I was there with my user. I don't know if I would have jumped up and got it. Um, but anyway, I don't know. Not a lot of people like Terrell Pryor. But I don't know if it's because I use him all the time. Right there, he avoids a pick. I don't know who that was. I think it was Sherman just fucking flying in. And on third and ten, he runs a triple option. And what the fuck? <laughs> I think that's Darren Sproles just like falls forward somehow. And right there, he makes a nice spin move. And just like... Fucking spins right out of my tackle. So now with 27 seconds left, I got to try to get something going on offense. Uh, the reason I'm showing you the kickoff, well, I don't usually do it. Whoop! <laughs> oh my god, that fucking juke move was not... I tried to hit my uh, uh, my best... Um, what's his name? Boomer. Best Boomer from uh, I mean, you know the Monday Night Football stuff, and he's a commentator. I'm sure you guys know who, who he is. That was a sick fucking kick return. That may have been the greatest kick return I have personally ever had. That's probably the title of this video. I haven't titled it yet, but uh, probably greatest kick return of all time. Uh, that's probably just to me. I know there's been better. Um, but, yeah, guys, just that was amazing. So I ended up taking a two-score lead still uh, going into the second half, which is huge. Because if I wouldn't have, uh, he would have been able to tie the game up. But he ends up making a bad read right there. Throws it right to Trey Waynes. And we end up getting the ball back. Now I'm really confident. Uh, up by two scores. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna win at this point. I don't usually. I mean, when I'm down or when I'm when I'm up by two scores, uh, with the ball, either early or late in the third or early in the fourth, I'm usually pretty confident I can move the ball, and uh, probably just run the clock out. But he ends up stopping me on first down to a sack actually. So second and 19, we end up hitting Gronk over the middle for a nice gain. I hurry up on third and six, and I try to step up, but as soon as I was hitting that gap, both the guys just block shed and fucking take me down so on fourth and nine decided to go for it i'm up by two scores it was probably a bad idea but right there first of all michael vick overthrew it and then second of all i guess i was across the line i don't know i thought maybe i could make that throw but michael vick just missed it if i wasn't across the line um michael vick should have made that throw but that's all right 
It's still up by two scores. We end up stopping him on the run right there on first and 10 when he gets down to the 28. On third and six, we end up playing the out route, and we, to no avail, we don't do anything. And he ends up hitting his running back out there for a nice game for the first. It was definitely a good read. Makes a really bad read right there. Stephon Gilmore just fucking drops it. So that was really frustrating. That would have probably been the game. Right there, he tries to fire a dot to Vincent Jackson. Doesn't happen. So he's got to, he's got to get in the end zone here. Third and ten. Um, I'm playing the pass, obviously. I'm playing the outside. I'm dropping people back. And he ends up running the ball. For actually a really good game, he almost gets the first. But he's stuck in fourth and three. Now I know he has to pass. Or do I? Fuck. <laughs> but I end up pass committing. And they knock it down. So we end up winning the game, guys. I show you a couple plays. Um, after this play, he had no timeouts left. So I just kneel the ball down. And uh, I end up winning the game. So it was definitely a fun game to play. Uh, GG to the opponent. He played really well. Uh, he just couldn't get that last... Well, he couldn't score basically all game except for that one drive um he would have had to have a miracle to even win anyway just because of the onside kick and how unlikely they are but definitely a good game it was fun um like i said guys i'm thinking of doing a michael vick highlight reel i think it would be fun but anyway guys twitter and twitch links are in the description make sure you guys follow my twitter and all my videos will be uploaded and when i'm going live on twitch i love you all to death uh show you the stats right here first hold up <laughs> i'm getting ahead of myself um, Darren Sproles had a touchdown. Didn't really have any big offensive players. I mean, Vic probably did the best. Um, I don't know. I wasn't really on offense that much. I had the kicker turn with Taylor Taylor Mays. I'm fucking retarded. I just saw Taylor Mays. Uh, kicker turn with Tyler Lockett. So that kind of that set me up. I didn't really have to do anything hasty after that. As you can see, I show you the kicker turn right here. Um, yep, two kicker turns, 123, and a touchdown. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it. And by the way, that is team of the year, Tyler Lockett. So anyway, guys, peace out.